Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do an update on our Vermabag Max. Now, it has been over 30 days since our last update. I think it's been about 33, and it's time to really get an update in there, make sure we're feeding it, see how the fruit fly issue is doing. It was starting to build up again with fruit flies. We did leave our container in there, but it's time to get some more food in there and make sure that we continue to work through food in this system to really get these worms churning through and expanding. And hopefully that'll help with our fruit fly issue as well as they get more and more... Uh, larger population they can start turning through more and more food and that way there's less and less for the, the fruit flies to really maybe make nests on and maybe uh, live in. So we're going to do that. We're going to add food. It's going to be a large feeding and we'll see how it's doing a lot with that. So let's go take a look and see how we're doing and what we're going to deal with in this update. All right so here, are, here we are with this, uh, this bin. So as you can see right here our last date was 10-3. I'm going to peel that off there. And put that to the side. We're going to put on the new date here of today, which is 11-1. So there's our new date right there for our update. And with that, let me push this down a little bit. Let's take a look in this system and see how it's doing. And just a reminder here, I am wearing a different glove than I do for my other non-hamster bedding systems, just in case. And look at this. First off, not much on the lid here. A little bit of uh, castings, that's about it. But look at this. You can already see they've chewed through this... Uh, this cardboard in here, we've got our first worm right here too. Nice big African night crawler right there. Look at that, they are chewing through this right now. They're working already on the uh, the cardboard on top. I wanted to give them a little bit extra and it looks like they are taking advantage of that. <laughs> um, just shake that off a little bit. I'm gonna move this off to the side just for now. And let's just take a look in here. So you can see right now we're already seeing a lot of worms, look at this. Look at all those worms, right in that first handful right there. There's a ton. And you can see this is not very deep anymore. I mean, like, this was filled up a, probably a good couple inches higher, but you could tell that they are really moved through this material. You can still see the, uh, this is a piece of wood in there, don't worry about that. But you can still see the shavings, but they are even really starting to work through those shavings as well. I'm quite amazed at how well they're working through this material. It's a little bit dry in here, but I'm not too worried about that. You know, it's... Uh, they seem to like it a little bit drier than I think I feel my reds do. They seem to gravitate towards this. Look at this. You can just see this material is almost all composted. This is this is quite amazing to me. Um, I expected them to take longer, but there, I mean, you can see there's just a ton of worms in here, and they look healthy. But I think what we're going to do now is we're going to take them and we're going to move them off to one side here. We're going to start this off right away by adding more worms. Or I'm not worms, sorry. We're bedding. I mean, look at that. You can see that they've, they've already done a really good job on this. We're going to move this over here. Ooh, look at that guy. Bouncing around like crazy. All right, let's get you over there, too. I'm going to move that just like that. We've got a big, big bag of more of a hamster bedding here that I can add in here. You can see what the difference looks like when we add this in between the fresh bedding and the old bedding. Look at this. Oh, wow, man, there's lots of dust that came out with that. I wasn't expecting that. Well, look at that. Oh my gosh. All right, hold on here. I got to grab my vacuum and vacuum this up a little bit, some of this dust. All right, I can tell that my camera now is having some issues now with the different colors. Um, I'm sure this looks very dark and this looks a little bit washed out, or maybe this is better in focus. But what we're going to do first is we're going to add some water to this, and we're just going to scoop on some water here from the bucket I've got right next door. This has some of my uh, BTI in it, so hopefully this will prevent the fruit flies from showing up which I might have been already be in this material since it's just been sitting in my basement. But that's the hope is that this stuff will help prevent that. But we need to get this wet because this is very, very dry compared to the other stuff. And you can see the difference here in the shavings as well with this. When I'm pouring this on, this paper bedding that's right over here is really absorbing it, whereas the I feel that the, the shavings, it tends to just flow right around it. It absorbs a little bit, but not a whole lot. So let's just put a little bit more in there. And there, I'm adding a lot in here, I know I am, because this is 100% bone dry, first of all. But also, it's going to evaporate out of here. So it's perfectly fine to add a little bit too much to this, this system, I feel. So now what I'm going to do now, is I don't want to just have that like that. I'm going to kind of cover, them up, cover this up with the other material as well. As you can see, we had to, basically one-third of this was 
uh, material that had uh, been in the bin and that we've added another two thirds. We're gonna see how well they can break this down, but they are really moving through this material very, very quickly. I'm very impressed. You can see though, they, I mean, I'm just amazed at how healthy these worms look too. I mean, they, they're, they're not afraid of light, which is very different than a lot of the other worms that I have, but uh, they are, they're really doing a good job on this. I think I might add a little bit of moisture, a little bit more moisture. I'm not seeing, I'm gonna just kind of see if I can flow this this way a little bit and lift it up. I'm not seeing any water come out the sides over here. So I might put on a little bit more water. We're just gonna kind of mix this in a little bit. We need to get the, the material to be inoculated with all this good microbial activity that's actually happening in the system already. So we're just gonna kind of mix that in a little bit and we're gonna add some more water here because it does look like it's still very, very dry on the bottom here. Let me just grab a couple more things of water. I mean, this, this is a lot of uh, a lot of stuff in here that can absorb water. It's meant to absorb water to kind of keep the, the cage clean. So, there we go. I think that might be good. Oh, maybe one more. One more just to, just to make sure. We'll add it over here to this side, too. There we go. So, as I said, this, this thing can probably hold a lot of water. Still... Still not seeing it really. It's, I mean, you can see this is absorbing water. It's actually, some of it still looks like it's dry, but it'll slowly move its way through the system. There's a little bit of water sitting in the bottom over here, but it's just, this can really hold a lot of moisture, this, this material. I know it can, but mixing it up like this is gonna help get all these microbes and get it inoculated so that way they can start consuming it faster. It does have a little bit of odor from, of hamster. It's not worm or compost odor. It has a hamster odor to it, but Mixing it up like this is really going to help this move faster, which is what I really want. I really want to be able to turn through this stuff. And we'll come back and we'll take a look at our, our reds as well in a little bit. You know, another give them another week or two to work on their stuff. But, uh, you know, they're hopefully working on theirs. But hopefully this will see a massive difference here. And as I said, this has been over a month since we last checked on it. But, you know, I plan to let this sit because I'm not adding food to these these containers. So with that, let me just grab and put this bag right back over the top. Oops, I just made a mess on my table. There we go. Flip this over this way. There we go, we've got our little bag back on top there that they can chew through. And let's put our saran wrap back on top. And just so you know, I do still have the bug light on top of this just to make sure it kills any fruit flies that nest in there. I'm hoping that the water with BTI that I've been adding will prevent that, but you never know. So with that, thank you for watching. So this is our November 1st update, and we'll go from here. We'll see how they do on this uh, new, set, new set of material we just added to this bin. Thank you for watching.